Well, we got the QAV 210 clone here. It's called the LS210. Went ahead and got a different power distribution board than it came with. That's going to be the, uh, let you see that, Maytech 5-in-1 version 3. Pretty handy. Got the built-in buzzer. Um, connect it to the flight controller right here to give it power and ground. Be good to go. Also has a little signal wire so you can set off the alarm. That's awesome. Um, SP3, which is the SP3 racing flight controller there. It's pretty excited about that. Got the better uh, F3 microprocessor, which isn't really technically clockwise faster than the uh, NAS 32's 32-bit controller, but the way this thing's, the hardware in this thing makes it a lot faster, so be ready to go with that. And I'm going to go S-Bus with it. Already got that plugged in where it's going to go. UART 2, I think. But anyways, S-Bus to the X4R Free Sky or FR Sky receiver. Went on that a little bit. Anyways, we have a 5.8 gigahertz uh, TS5823S 40 channel mini video transponder. It's going to be real nice. Sky Zone on that, I believe. Sky Zone. Then we have a 30 amp. FVT Little Bees Optos. Those are gonna go real nice on there. Especially because of what I got here. I'm super excited about these bad boys. RS2205 Emacs. The new motors, the red bottoms everybody's been waiting on. Got them, got them. RS2205 Emacs. Sorry about the focus. These little guys are gonna zing around, I'll tell you what. Well, about to get the build underway. I'm probably gonna at least do a time lapse of that for you guys, so hopefully you can see my techniques and we'll both learn along the way a little bit, probably something. So take care I'll get back with you after uh, get started building okay so I shut it down last night because I was just too tired pretty much um, I didn't record anything else but I did do a little bit more I went ahead and got all my placements for my uh, antennas X4R I got it all pretty much set up how I want it to now I um, got my strap on so I could put the X4R under it. I used double-sided 3M tape to stick it to this little cross beams. I'm thinking about maybe right here where this where you could put another strap. I'm thinking about maybe doing a, uh, a zip tie there to hold that in. Um, I'm waiting on a uh, an adapter to go from RP SMA to my SMA um, Fat Shark antenna. So. I'm going to be running that. I don't think I'm going to be able to go through the hole. I'm just going to go up behind it with the antenna. Should be fine. Um, this little wire here, that's your V-bat and your ground. So there is a VCC, well, you know, just just like what's running to the ESCs. Same, same voltage as what the battery carries. So I'm going to go ahead and hook that up when I, when I solder everything. That way I can... Uh, um, I can do telemetry to my Tyrannus if I want to through the uh, flight controller. It does have the telemetry port. So, yeah, there's that. I think I can go right to UART 2 up here. This one with that. So, sorry, the video wasn't very good there for a second. But um, I haven't soldered in anything yet still. Like I said, I was just getting fittings. I'm going to go ahead and heat shrink the ESC's on and I think I'm just gonna leave the servo wires the length they are that way in case I ever need to program them I can very easily I did buy yeah 
the DYS um, USB linker. So, yeah, I'll uh, keep updating you. Thanks. Getting the uh, motors soldered onto the ESCs, so I'll uh, get a little bit of video of that after I uh, get them all mounted back on the frames. So then I'll solder these wires onto the power distribution board and we'll keep on trucking. Okay, so I got a lot more done than what I said I was going to, but as you can see, I soldered everything together, motors to ESCs, ESCs to power distribution board. And then to get the heat shrink around where I have them now, I had to do the motors to the ESCs first, feed the ESCs and the wires through after I cut and tended them. Then I put them on the power distribution board with the uh, uh, heat shrink already all over it all so that's how I was able to accomplish that um, I pretty much just have this on there so I could tell how good I needed it but we can uh, take that off and try to get a picture here there's a uh, each ESC is wired to the power distribution board as usual I have um, a 5 volt power and ground which is wired all the way over to here in the back and I put a little bit of liquid tape over it to kind of help conceal it um, so that's where that power and ground comes from and then you'll see feeding off of it even though it's black because I colored it but that's supposed to be a yellow video signal the video signal runs right into this wire which goes back to the video transmitter the video transmitter then is this wire that I have heat shrinked and it goes down and straight into a 12 volt. There's a 12 volt outlet right above the VCC which goes to the, uh, the flight controller here. Which in polarity is right of course. Everybody always reminds you to check that. But then I don't know if you can see again down in there. That is a servo connector, and that is how we can trigger the buzzer, which that button right there sets what voltage. It can be 3.4 volts, 3.5, or 3.6 volts, and then there will be a light that lights up there. You can change that to tr tell you when your battery's going dead. Um, but anyways, that servo connector then goes from there to the... Uh, um, since I'm running S bus, then I have S bus 16 channels plus three more regular analog channels. Just so that's how I'm powering the flight controller, and then channel one on there will be my um, um, buzzer switch, which I don't know what it will be once I have S bus plugged in, but I don't think it's uh, too big of a deal. So yeah. Um, I got the rubber ducky on there now because like I said before I haven't received my um, uh, <clears throat> I haven't received my dang um, antenna adapter to go from RPSMA to SMA but yep I got the battery all on there everything fits down in there just right the pillars the wires going around the pillars just right everything's perfect so I'm gonna get the camera mounted actually I'm probably gonna go program the ESC's right now but after that I'm gonna be ready to go so. well I decided to just barrel on through the build and forgot to uh, keep you guys updated as I went along but um, you pretty much seen all the work I had put in so I like the way it came together, um, it's really clean, even though you see wires, they are, I mean, it's minimal, it is probably the best I could have done, so, um, I'm happy with it. So, here we have the X4R S-Bus with telemetry receiver, 
and there is one way to connect it that I know of and it keeps telemetry going while the um, quad is not armed too. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all how I accomplished that goal but first of all I want to point out on the on the X4R you only need one one wire coming out of it and it'll be your green wire so get that plug that you have for your X4R and make sure you uh, take out the other three wires and leave your one green wire it'll be the one closest to the pins so after that you know you need that one and now a more a trickier thing here if you look at the uh, SP3 racing um, we have our uh, receiver going into channels 1, 2, and 3 here. That's where we hook it up to S-Bus on the X4R. So to get telemetry, we have to go into clean flight. And on the configurations page, you scroll down to the uh, bottom right, and you'll see the uh, box that has telemetry, um, soft serial. That's what you need to select. You need to select telemetry and soft serial. And then what that does is it turns IO port one, I believe this one is over here. If you're looking at it from the front of the quad, it will be, well, you got IO two port used up with your uh, S bus. So you need IO port one. And the only two, you have to connect it to two pins. And I think this is where everybody gets confused because it's, there's eight pins and you connect to pins five and six. RX and TX is what it is when um, soft serial is enabled. So you go ahead and you get you the other, instead of using the big long one, if you want to use the one that goes in there, there's a four pin header and I believe it's for the, the, um, the top ports here. Um, UART 2 and uh, the one that they use for programming the board but um, either way it's really tiny and it will actually be a tiny bit smaller than the ones that you'll use to plug in below the board so you get one of those and you take it all the way to the end you'll see the uh, little port on the top like on the top of the pin it'll have lines and th those lines will only fit in one way so you figure out which way that is in and it, you scoot it all the way towards the front of the of the uh, of the board so closest to the which way the arrow is pointing closest to your servo wires if you want to think about it like that and you remove the first two wires closest that would be seven and eight the first two wires closest to the uh, servos and you leave wires five and six plugged in right there. And like I said, if you want, you can use the full pin, which I'll show you. It looks, it's just bigger. Looks like that one there. It's a lot longer, has eight pins. You can use a four pin in place, it'll fit. So go ahead and use your 8 pin or your 4 pin and just leave number 5 and 6 in there in, in the um, IO2 port, or IO1 port, I'm sorry, IO1. So after that, you'll take, and what I do is I like to take the two wires and I like to make them fairly short, so I'm going to snip them really, really short. And then I'll go ahead and I'll solder those two together and I'll twist them. So that way, good solid connection. You'll get your measurements here. I guess if you need them longer, you can cut them however you need to, but get your measurements there and you can tell it is a very short little shot from there to my receiver. So I just like to make a real little wire, real little short wire, connect these two solder this one to those two so you'll have both ports five and six going into your um, 
into your transmitter telemetry port. And that again, it's the green wire and ports five and six. I was just hooking it up with six like you do on the NAS board, but here, when you enable soft serial with S bus, with S bus you need um, you need both RX and TX coming out of the uh, flight controller. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that soldered up. Uh, good luck with your guys's thanks.